Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to the Warning Walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at how to install Cisco CSR 1000 virtual router in VMware environment. So to do that, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new machine and we'll just follow the step. Um, I can go with the typical recommended way also, but let's go with the custom which is advanced level of creating a VM machine. So I'll install the operating system later and I'll select others um, as my VM uh, type which I'm going to select over here. It doesn't make any difference as I said earlier in my other video also. Uh, if you select this guest operating system as others or Linux or whatever. We are going to click next over here. So we need to point this um, to the folder where we are going to install this. So this is the place I am going to keep my Cisco router VM. I will click next. I am going to just for the test make four total number of cores for this router. Um, definitely you will need to follow the instruction, the system requirements of Cisco router, whatever is given at their website. So let's click next over here and for the RAM I'm going to select 4 GB for now. And again, as I said that you need to look at the requirements of uh, Cisco router from their website. And say next. Uh, uh, definitely for interfaces we would need multiple interfaces in this scenario but for now I'm clicking next anything can be fine because at least we would need one bridge or net internet the net network so that we should have internet connectivity on the Cisco router so I'm going to click next I'll say next over here I'll select IDE which is a recommended solution so uh, for hard drive I'll create a new hard disk over here and I'm going to keep it at 8 GB and I'll again store it as a single file and I'm going to name it as Cisco ESR 1000 V. I'm not sure I think I have by mistake did not change the name of the VM so let's do that That's why it was showing that to me. So we are going to save this now. Uh, finish and our VM is ready. I can go over here as uh, we know that we, I can go here and I can add more of the uh, we, uh, we can add more of the network adapters over here. So probably I'll add um, host only adapter uh, from my network or I can add whatever specific adapter I would like to add. I have like few host only adapters which are my customized adapters. I can add them over here. I can add as many as I want over here. So uh, we can just need to we, we just need to be make uh, sure about how many adapters we need. So it's a test environment. I can have one or more whatever number of routers I want. I can have them and I'll click finish and uh, so I have already added the adapters over here, multiple network adapters. Of course, it's a router, so I should have more adapters over here. Then I just need to point in my DVD or CD drive to the ISO file where I have downloaded the image, uh, ISO image of this Cisco router. And then I am going to power it on and we will start this VM. And we are going to work with it as per its uh, step-by-step wizard which I uh, going, which is going to come over here. So it would take some time of course to boot up this router and once it is booted it would uh, do the installation of this image and then I would have my router up and running inside the VM itself. So we'll wait for it to complete this installation As you can see that it is booting up, it is installing the IRS. Uh, this is a normal behavior. If you see these messages, just ignore them and just wait for this router to completely get installed on your VM. 
and once this is done we will have our router up and running and then we will be prompted for initial uh, getting started result for this router itself so it's just extracting files and then just installing the software uh, packages which are required So my installation is completed and now my router is booting for the next thing I am just going to press enter or any key and then I am going to use packages.config file to uh, load my router. So now once my router would be loaded it would be my new router which is already installed on my machine which I have uh, created in my VM. So we will just wait for this and we will wait till the point where we will see getting started version of the router these are like normal messages just ignore them for the time being and you will see that your router would be up and running in some time alright so as you can see my router is installed and now it is asking me to enter into initial configuration dialog box this is a normal thing for, uh, we have not installed the VMware tool so this message is a normal message you can just click ok to ignore it thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos please comment subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.